I came home from the studio and sent it to a friend of mine, Elba, and told him to forward it to my friends and share it as promo for a bar, as you can see here, that my friends had set, set up and put together at the stadium trade exhibition that year and just went about my business. I sat in my room with my younger brother as I was preparing to get back to studying and just jokingly said to him, bro, we have our first hit. Needless to say, the song was a massive hit. I had absolutely no idea what was in store for me, and honestly, I was not ready. Today, I want to talk to you about being a creative in a conservative society and the prospects and the prospects one can attain from breaking the norm. Two days after the release of this song, I went on campus to take my final exams. I was very confused to see my classmates running up to me yelling, oh, superstar. <laughs> These are my people that I've sat in class with for years, I've studied with, I know them, we know each other, you've been to my house, why are you calling me superstar? They're running to take pictures with me. Imagine my further confusion when I went home after the exam, only to meet my mother, who said, Bo Simchi, now me and you then are the same us you put music we don't know? <laughs> Again, I'm very confused. How do you know about this? And she further went on to say, you Antigo Stadium yesterday, he said, so so you voiced the area all about the Allah Azamba, Azamba. Again, very, very confused. Now, we have to remember, the general perception of musicians, entertainers, dancers, etc., in Africa, in Sierra Leone and Africa as a whole, is that you are uneducated. You are a dropout. You're just generally unserious. And so, in this situation, <laughs> imagine my parents, how they were. Just within a week after the song was released, the song was everywhere. It was trending on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on you know, Twitter wasn't popping then, but it was all over the place playing on, on clubs. And I started getting calls from everywhere. People were asking about radio interviews, TV interviews, performances, appearances, etc., etc. My parents were absolutely terrified. Remember the mindset they came from when we talk about musicians and entertainers. Remember their mindset. And so they were horrified. Firstly, I had no form of representation. I had no label. I had no management. Nothing. No structure. Secondly, I was one year away. I was one year away from finishing my undergraduate degree, and now all of a sudden I'm a musician. So you can imagine their horror. They were a bit, they were not a bit, extremely concerned <laughs> that I was about to let this new popularity and fame go to my head and then forego my undergraduate degree and pursue music. So we had to have a sit down. I'll call it a high-level meeting. <laughs> and in that meeting, we agreed two things. Firstly, for the entirety of my final year, for the entirety of my final year, I would focus solely on completing my course, completing my degree. And afterwards, they would give me full support in my music. Fair enough. And so I did. For an entire year, I didn't perform, I didn't do a video, I did nothing concerning the song, but the song kept playing. Kept playing by itself, promoted itself. And eventually I finished my undergraduate, took my final exams, and I went head first into the music. So I had upheld my part of the bargain. It was time for, this, for them to uphold theirs. And they did. I shot a video to the now famous song. 
I went on tour, nationwide tour. I was nominated for multiple awards. I did my, f I recorded an album titled Game Time, as you can see here, my first album. I uh, um, launched my, I launched this album at my first ever album launching concert on the 21st of April, 2017. And the very next morning, a very successful concert, the very next morning, I graduated with an LLB Honors, Bachelor of Law LLB Honors degree. The very next morning. <laughs> Safe to say, however, we were all sleeping throughout this graduation ceremony, but that's an aside. That's an aside. I then went on to law school. And I have to be very honest, in law school, I, there were many times I doubted myself. It's like, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? I saw my colleagues that we all came into the music industry at the same time. We all blew up at the same time, but they continued ascending. They were making hits now. They were doing bigger things, performing all over the place. And I'm in class reading about equity and trust and criminal law and statutory instrument. I thought to myself, is this worth it? What, why am I stressing myself, putting myself through this type of situation for something I'm not even sure I want to do for the rest of my life? So I'll never forget my dang 2017. I did not want to go at all, at all. Um, the year before, I was a headline act. I had arguably the biggest song in the country. People paid money to come see me. I got on stage, did a great show, people enjoyed. Fast forward a year later, I'm fighting for my life in law school. And so I did not want to be in that situation to go there. But I had some cousins from the UK that were very insistent and persisting that we should go, we should go. And I went, reluctantly. And when I went, I saw my colleagues, my colleagues that we, are, we all came into this industry at the same time. They're performing. They're the ones with the new songs, the new hit songs. They're the ones on stage. They're the ones people pay to go and see. And I'm just there, just standing. In my mind, I was supposed to be up there with them. And so frustration grew within me. Frustration was growing. However, I used that frustration to motivate myself. Firstly, I knew that once I completed law school and passed the bar exams, I would be able, I will be free to do whatever I wanted to do. I would no longer have that pressure on my mind. Secondly, Given the nature of how law school results are published in Sierra Leone, can you imagine the headlines? Popular musician Rafa fails law school. <laughs> that would not only be an embarrassment to my, to my family, at the same time, I would be playing into that perception that musicians and, entertain, and entertainers cannot be educated and cannot be professionals. So I knew I had a point to prove. Uh, I don't think this is working anymore. Anyway, so I knew I had a point to prove. And I proved it. On the 23rd of November 2018, I was called to the Sierra Leone Bar. And so the next question that arose was, would I focus solely now on my legal profession and forget about entertainment? The answer was very simple, no. I went headfirst again into the music. And ironically, I've never been the type of person that likes attention. I don't like being the center of attention everywhere, anywhere I go. I prefer being behind the scenes. And so I now had a voice. I now had influence. I now had people that paid attention to me. So I wanted to know how this newfound influence I have 
can make a difference for young creatives coming up after me. And so in 2018, some friends of mine and I came together and we formed Simply, a full service entertainment company and a record label that serves as a platform for creatives to express themselves in the ways they know, they best know how. We've been able to do two concerts. Our, our first, this was our first, and we recently concluded our second on Sunday, the 2nd of January. We released compilation, a compilation album. We've released songs for the five artists that we've signed. And within this past couple of years, we've been able to accumulate well over, just over 100,000 streams on all platforms, on all streaming platforms. And, yes, okay. We've been able to accumulate just over 100,000 streams on all streaming platforms. And our, success, our successes do not stop there. We've been able to transfer the skills that we have attained, that we have learned, to others. We, through the support of the World Bank and the Skills, Develop, um, the skills Development Fund Secretariat in Sierra Leone here, we were able to train 40 youths and 40 young people with 40 young people, yes, this is a cross, cross section of that, in various areas of creative, of creative arts, digital marketing, music production, um, entertainment and event planning, video production. We've been able to do all of that. So imagine the impact that will have on these 40 youths in their own communities, the knowledge they can also transfer to those. And the question, beg, the question that comes to my mind is, had my parents tried to dissuade me from ever pursuing music or to just totally forego it, would I even be on this stage today? And the answer is probably no. And the answer is probably no. I want people to look at my story and know that you can be talented, nurture and grow your talents, and still get an education. I am an example that you can do both. I want people to understand that this age-old perception that being a musician, being an entertainer means you're unserious, you're in case you're, and you're, you're unserious, is totally false. You have a God-given talent. God gave you a talent. Make use of it, hone it, develop it, and still get yourself educated. Still get yourself educated. My parents gave me the chance gave me the guidance and the chance to be educated and also to develop and also to develop my craft. We see, today we see the likes of the Dominic Fofanas, who is here, a graduate of Jala University. At the same time, he has shown us levels of photography and videography that we have not seen before. We see the likes of, of Drizzelik um, charting very, chart, going on uncharted areas and music that we have not seen in Sierra Leone. We see the likes of Dito Freaky Bades, a DJ who has shown us the importance and skill a DJ can have. These are contemporaries that, for year, that spent years nurturing their craft and their talents, and today are flying the Sierra Leone flag high. My parents gave me the option and the chance to both get an education and develop and follow my dreams. I want all parents here everywhere to know that you should encourage your children in both spheres. You never know where it could lead. I'm Amos Simche Lansana Esquire, the lawyer. I'm also Prodigy Sim, the musician. And I am the creative professional. Thank you very, very much.